Hi guys, this is Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub, and here we have the Galaxy Note 8.0 tablet smartphone from Samsung. On the right edge of the device, you've got a power lock key along with the volume rocker and an IR blaster, so you can use it as a remote for your television. And most other sets, uh, there's an inbuilt software for that. So that's the right edge. On the left edge, you've got uh, nothing but the micro SD card slot, expandable to 64 gigabytes of uh, memory. At the bottom, you've got a 2.0 USB port, and at the top, you have a 3.5mm headphone jack. The rear panel is made of plastic with uh, hyperglaze coating. The device weighs uh, quite light and uh, it's extremely thin. Launching in India around April end, the device is running Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 overlaid with TouchWiz 5.0 and would likely be receiving an update to 4.2 soon. The response to touch is quite nice and the experience is lag free. The display is a TFT panel 8 inch with a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels. The device is powered by a 1.6GHz quad-core processor along with 2GB of RAM. The device also supports microSD uh, storage up to 64GB. Samsung has done an interesting job of uh, adding the capability of uh, navigating the menu button, the capacitive menu button and the return button with the S Pen. So now you have an even smoother experience using the S Pen while navigating your menu. So you've obviously got uh, regular preloaded applications and widgets that you can use and uh, uh, you know place them on your home screen. The notification panel is quite different here. Now let's go inside the, the settings and the about device section and see that the device is actually running Android 4.1.2 and as I said would hopefully receive uh, an update soon to 4.2. The notification panel has been reduced in size so that navigation is easier. With the Galaxy Note 510, Samsung uh, wants to emphasize on the reading experience for people who consume a lot of uh, reading material or reads a lot of ebooks. So let me give you an example of that. Uh, let me just look for Reader's Hub right around here. There you go, there's Reader's Hub. And once you go inside this, you know, you've, there are some sample books inside that I'm going to use to showcase what Reader's Hub can do with the reading mode enabled. So someone's already highlighted that. I'm going to skip over that. So there are various tools that you can use uh, to enhance your reading experience. There's a text tool, uh, there's a pen mode, there's a highlighting mode. Uh, I'll tell you about that a little later. And things like changing font size, changing uh, the background color, the font color. So depending upon various lighting conditions, you're never uh, bothered. And you know, your experience, your reading experience is actually quite nice. So, uh, you know, it's not something new, but it's good to have these uh, features built in uh, as a native feature, then have uh, different apps do that. In case you want to copy some text from the material that you're reading, just uh, tap the button on the S Pen and underline the content and you can copy it. Another really interesting feature is the fact that you can highlight stuff. And so just press the highlight tool and drag your S Pen over the text and it gets highlighted. What's more is that it actually gets stored in a particular place. So everything that you highlight gets stored somewhere. So it's like a quick way of making your own notes and you know you can export it obviously. Uh, do something else. So let me just show you what uh, the gallery looks like and much like the Galaxy Note 2, you know, this device has the same way of displaying pictures. So you've got the timescape view, uh, which kind of gives you a grid of pictures. You've got the spiral view, so you can rotate all your images and just a much uh, nicer and a cool way of uh, looking at pictures. So let's go into the camera. The device features a 5 megapixel uh, rear camera and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. There is no LED flash as you can see. Uh, but that shouldn't be a surprise, uh, really, because uh, tablets don't really need to take great pictures. They just need to take pictures so that, you know, you can attach them to something and reference them later. Apart from that, uh, going forward, I'm going to talk about the, uh, you know, what's inbuilt, uh, the stock camera application. And much like any TouchWiz stock camera app, you've got the same settings, uh, a variety of filters that you can use. There are not a lot of those, but still a little bit. The exposure settings and four to five shooting modes. Um, including the share shot, which is quite nice. Uh, you know, you can share pictures instantly with share shot uh, across Galaxy devices, obviously. The camera also supports full HD video recording, and that's uh, quite nice. But again, you don't have the LED flash, so you know, you, you're going to make sure that you have a lot of light to take uh, great videos. So guys, uh, that's it about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0 or the Galaxy Note 510. There would be a detailed review soon about, uh, you know, all the other aspects. So let's just hold for that. So guys, make sure you subscribe and uh, that way you wouldn't miss the uh, detailed review of this device.